Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the collective, whoever tunes in with a message. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's ring the bell three times. All right, you can ring my bell. Just cleared some energy. Thank you for being here again. All right, so today's message, it kind of just fell out on the table, so I'm just going to go with it. I was looking for one card, and I got a few. So anyway, this card came up first. Now, not later. And there is like a little clock on, on this card. I don't know if you can see it. But it won't focus. Anyway, it looks like the clock is pointing to like 755 so I, I wouldn't look that angel number up so there's a, a few different meanings for 755 um three star prayer i think we did well anyway we'll do it again because i can't remember thank you god for blessing each and every person that comes to this uh video with clear concise message from you all right so 755 um it talks about significant life changes, making important choices, decisions regarding your future. Okay. And it says, if you're seeing 755 everywhere, everywhere, it's a sign that you should share your wisdom that you possess with others. Another possible meaning um, could be your guardian angels may be, t may be telling you that you need more. You need to be more open to love. Okay. Um. Also, this is a call to discover what is holding you back from reaching your true potential. That is uh, significant. I think all of those messages are significant in the cards that kind of fell out today. So, it looks like the universe wants you to do something now, not later. Maybe even putting something off. It has something to do with you presenting yourself to the world. Presenting what you have to say. Um, you keep thinking about how you will be perceived, if you will be well uh, received, um, if people will, you know, uh, take to your opinion, or will you be shunned? Will you be ostracized? Will you be blackballed? I don't know. But you're holding back what you really want to do, how you really want to be, who you really are. You're holding it back um, in fear. We know that the fear of a man brings only trap and error. So when you fear, guess what you're going to get? If you just kind of program your mind to that, okay, if, if you if you immediately feel fear, you should tell yourself, I'm going to get trap and error. Because then that will help you think differently. It'll help you come out of fear, right? It'll help you face your fears. The universe wants you to do something now, not later, because there's something major on the other side of this. Well, you, this card kept wanting to show itself the two of swords, which you don't see. Sometimes this could be indicative of fear. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to make a decision on it because I don't know. I don't have all the the parts. I don't, you, you've come up with so many different excuses, whether they're valid or invalid. It's still an excuse. If I'm late to work because a car accident happened in front of me, it's a valid excuse, but it's still an excuse. So you may have invalid or valid excuses for why you're not doing what you're not doing, blah, 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 whatever. You may have put something off. You don't want to see it. You don't want to go toward it. This could be out of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what's on the other side. Fear of making the wrong decision. So no decision. Making no decision is a decision. It also talks about emotions, too. It also talks about the deep and the unknown. If you, if you think about deep, deep, deep water, the ocean water, right? For some of that water hasn't been explored. We don't know what's under there, right? So some of those emotions, some of that, those issues haven't been explored. Maybe even issues... Um, where did that go? Oh, right here. Hang on. Uh, really quickly. All right. 
some issues, six of cups of the past. This could talk about trauma, traumatic situations. Maybe this, I'm, I was getting like people relations. So maybe your relation to people hasn't been great. This is Scorpio energy, so it talks about the deep, the deep, going deep, diving deep, the occult, the unseen, the unforeseen, uh, the other side, the the underworld, the underbelly, the under undercurrent. It's a lot. Like it's it's like you're in this energy of maybe the star card because it came out too. You're up, right? A star is up in the sky. That's where you want to be. You don't want to see. You don't want to know anything else. Because it brings you maybe fear. Maybe you feel immature, unlearned. I don't have enough. Again, all of the excuses, whether they're valid or invalid. I had to teach my daughter that. Matter of fact, I'm like... An excuse is an excuse, whether you have a valid one or an invalid one. Okay, so, you know, it is what it is. An excuse is not a bad word. It's just what it is. Um, some of you need to declutter your emotions. Like, your emotions are all over the place. Therefore, you're not making a decision. That's why the cards say, now, not later. This could be something about presenting yourself again to the public. Large groups of people being the face of, the star of, okay? The main attraction. This could be doing like entrepreneurial work or doing something for yourself, doing something that you, it would start out of the home, home base. This could even be indicative of maybe you need to like dig deep within your roots. Like the fourth house, home, mother, children, roots, foundation. Go there, dig deep. Some of you just don't have confidence. You, and you, uh, I heard, I heard you. You said yes, I do. Yeah, but no. Um, you don't feel confident enough to pull this off, whatever this may be, and and you already know what it is. Because it's been nagging at you. It's been talking to you. It's been speaking to you. Your guides, your guardian angels, spirit, God, telling you this way, this way, go that, do this, do that. And you're, and you're clearly not doing it. That's why I said now, not later. The funny thing is that you won't do the thing that God or spirit, whatever you want to call it, told you to do, right? But you're still asking for you fill in the blank. So you won't do that thing, or you won't take that leap, or you won't take that chance, or you won't present yourself, or you won't make that decision, but you still want. It's funny because this is the King of Wands at the bottom of this deck, and he his affirmation is, I want or I desire. Funny. You want, you have desires, but you're not willing to do what you've been instructed to do out of fear, out of lack of confidence. When you have lack of confidence, it's significantly or most times related to lack of knowledge. If I know something, then I feel confident in doing it, right? If you tell me to go work on a, f what, uh, airplane, uh, 747. Go work on that, the engine. L, you can do it. I say, no, I, I, I don't feel confident, you know, being a mechanic in regards to this engine. You say, well, why? I said, because I don't know anything about this engine. Confidence is synonymous with knowledge. If you don't feel confidence, because you don't know something. So go get the knowledge. This also could be an energy of you don't know yourself. You don't know your self-worth. You don't know who you are. You don't know. You don't know. You've been trying to make it up. It's almost as if you're learning on the job, i.e. your life. Like you're like learning, like you're just going through life and not really, really knowing who you are and you're trying to figure it out and you're letting other people kind of project onto you what you should be or what you are. blah da 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 blah, blah, blah. And really not really focusing in on who you are, really honing in on that. Asking God, who am I? What am I? What is my purpose? 
You go everywhere else. You do not ask God. I heard like rightful place. So some of you need to take your rightful place. Rightful place. So this, this star card talks about being the face of. It also talks about releasing the baggage from previous relations or relationships. And I told you something about relate or how you relate to people. Now, this is not always romantic. I know you came here for that, but it's not always romantic. It's like relations are with your sister, with your brother, with the people at work, with your mother, blah, blah, blah. Go any people relation, right? How do you relate to people? How do they relate to you? Some of you have been burned. You've been hurt. You just don't want to deal. You're in the energy of the two of swords. I'm closed because I don't know. Back, back to I don't know. So I don't have confidence in people relations. I don't have confidence in making new friends. I don't have confidence in a new lover. I don't have confidence in I don't know. I just don't want to do it. That's how some of you are kind of, you set up your life. You set up your heart. She's guarding her heart. And we know that the king of wands is the desire of your heart. You may be desiring like a relationship, desiring more money, more whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you're not doing the work to get it. Or you're not doing what you've been instructed to do. Something about connecting backwards. Connect the dots backwards. So you got to go backwards. Not forward. You can't run away from. You've got to go backwards. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Go. So, And this can even be with family, friends, loved ones. This talks about childhood. It talks about upbringing it talks about hometown when you do this you're going to get illumination enlightenment all this yellow it's going to be like aha some of you just weren't nurtured okay some of you have been in a systematic how do I put this it's been in like a systematic ring of keeping you down or suppressed or your energy suppressed or you're not knowing yourself because this is who you really are or there's a placement for you but you're not you're, you might be out of alignment something could have happened in your past where it affected your confidence significantly therefore you just let other people tell you what you should be, who you are. Either you let them tell you by way of words or you just let them tell you by way of how they treated you. Some of you need to know who you are, like, or you need to find out who you are spiritually ranking right now, not later, because it's holding you back from the very thing you say you want. These cards fell out together. I was like shuffling. And they fell out together. Now, if you have this deck and you've read the book to this deck, you don't have to. You can ascribe your own meanings to these cards. You don't have to. But when these two cards come out together, this is monumental. This is big shit. This is not like, oh, you know, here's a thousand dollar check that we owe you from your insurance. No, this is, this is, um, this is like, um, I heard buried, hidden treasure. Maybe that's who you really are. You're a buried, hidden treasure. That's what I'm saying. Like some of you, like, or it's like systematically your entire life was like a whole ring of keeping you down. This could have been orchestrated by other, other would be them. Them is they and they is them. I don't know who 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 are who is your they who who has been keeping you down who's been keeping you suppressed your energy suppressed
the adversary, whatever is adverse to you. Well, these cards say you have a great fortune. You can suddenly come into wealth. Wealth is also knowledge, too. Because if you have knowledge, then you can apply it. Knowledge begets wisdom. You know, then you can definitely share your wisdom. That's what the 755 was talking about. You don't know if you're going to be well received. This card is at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have high honor amongst people. People are going to... I heard bow down. Damn, some of you got like a high rank ranking spiritual. Like high. You don't know it though. You don't know it. You have not. This card wanted to come out. Um, you had, where was it? Yeah, you didn't. Um, you haven't applied it. Because you don't know it. You didn't know it. You don't really know who you are. You don't know your power. You don't know how to transmute. You don't know something about your mind, and your frame of, okay, your frame of reference, your mind, and then your emotions. So the mind and the emotions go hand in hand, right? If you think one way, you're gonna start to feel it. Something about rearranging, changing your mind, your mindset, surrounding you abundance and who you are but let's let's subtract all of this abundance and all this stuff that you want because that is um those are fringe benefits right to you actually knowing who you are and until you really know who you are where you rank what you should be doing life purpose set in place then You'll always be chasing after. You'll be chasing after the the money and the whatever you need or what, I don't know. But um, it'll always be fleeting. It'll always be running from you. And you'll be chasing after it versus chasing after knowing who you really are. Your rightful placement. Placement. Placement is, is uh, very, very, very important. There's some like, you may have like king, queen type of energy, um, spiritual ranking, but you're running around here acting like a pauper. You're running around here acting like, you know, you're less than because you were systematically held down, suppressed. Imagine if you knew your power when you were like three or four, five or six. It's so funny, huh? My niece, six years old. And it's so funny. She, when she gets around me, this is a, she only talks like this around me. She says, Auntie, yeah, in my hand. I, I have not told this girl this. I don't have these type of talks with her. She's like, yeah, um, you know, I've got so much power in my hand. You know, it's just like sometimes I just I, I have this ball of power in my hand. And I'm just, you know, sometimes I want to just throw it. What kind of, what are you, where is this coming from? <laughs> then she drew a picture of her and I. And she said, Auntie, this is you and this is me. You get your power from the sun. I get mine from the moon. Where the fuck is this coming from? So I have to keep her close to me. <laughs> Anyhow, that's, that's a side note. Um... Anybody who knows about stuff, you'll get it You about this type of work. Anyway, but anyhow, um, moving forward, some of you just don't know yourself. You don't know. You don't know. You're trying to figure it out. You're a grown-ass person. You're older. And it's just like you're, trying to f you're really trying to figure out where you belong, your placement on this earth. Some of you have high-ranking spiritual placement, power, unyielded, unapplied. It's just dormant, laying inside of you. And it's like, the universe is like, activate. Some of you need to speak to your angels. Some of you need to just do something. Because you have the backing, the blessing of the universe. 
if you just put it out there. Something that you have is it, it could land big for you. If money is the issue in your life, then it won't be. If love is the issue in your life, then it won't be. You could you have something that hit what is it? What would you say? Buried hidden treasure? Treasure? So if you take nothing from this reading, take Know thyself. Get to know yourself. You say, how do I do that? Go to God. Go to your angels. Start to pray. God, who am I? Where am I supposed to be? Where's my placement? It'll, it'll all come together. You'll get insight. Will it be I don't know, immediate? No. Maybe it'll come in the form of... A book, maybe someone will, will introduce you to a book. You pick up the book, you start reading, and it starts to resonate with you. I don't know, but you have to, you got to know thyself. So when you don't know yourself, most times you're in confusion. Because sometimes this two of swords can talk about confusion. Right? Who We know who the author of confusion is. Yep, and it's not God. So... You've got to pray that away, pray that down, you know, and, and then get clear, clear heart, clear mind, and then you have a clear conscience. But whatever it is, you need to do it now because, um, so we got 11th house, we got Southern Wealth with, um, the, um, this is an 11 card. Okay. We've got the two that reduces two and 11. One and one equals two. The, we're in the 11th month. Something about the 11th hour in the last hour. It'll all come together. You'll understand that you're on the right track. Seven, seven, seven. So it's about perfecting and mastering. Something's been perfected and mastered in you. You don't even, but you, you got all this power, but you don't even know how to use it. You don't know what to do with it. You have not because you ask not. For my people perish for lack of, we just talked about that, knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, you don't have confidence, so you don't do anything. Two of Swords. No decision is a decision. The cards want you to be. Some of you are royal. I just saw purple. Um, some, some of, okay, so, all right, okay, thank you. Um, so, some of you, the cards want you to be confident, like the King of Wands, because luck is on your side. You're already smart. Something is unexpected. Be unafraid. Purple just showed its face. And something about the new moon. The new moon is coming up. This is the time to manifest before the new moon. Because it's like the, the full moon is waning. It's going down. This is the time to start to clean the slate. Pray. Blessings coming in when you manifest. Purple came out. Yeah. Some of you are definitely div divine. Divinity. Spiritual royalty. Red would be power on the earth. Purple is power in the heavens. And some of you got some real power. But you're not using it. It's hair. Either you have. Somebody has none or they have a lot. So when I got this card, when they told me to make this card, this was about, you know, your power is in your hair. Something about your hair. Some of you need to get your hair back healthy. Grow your hair. Wear your hair. 
Somebody has a lot of power and somebody has none. You may be like on a hair growth journey and it's also unlocking some other things in you spiritually. Something about divine and divinity. Some of you learned a lot, but you're not applying it. Your future is bright. Great fortune. You might hear this from somebody or something. Whatever you consult with, whomever you consult with, you're going to hear this. This is a portal, a door to sudden wealth. Today, 11-11 could be that for you. You have something to offer the world. The star card. A lot of people lust after you. They desire you. You may have been reading this as love, but it was lust. You may have been protected from these people, this person. Or lots of people. But the cards are still just going back to go find out who you are. Where you spiritually rank. Find out what you are, who you are. Some of you aren't, again, it's like depression, suppression. Getting back to simpler times, just saying I love you. Oh, you might didn't hear this growing up as a child. You didn't have anybody pouring into you. Oh, okay, pouring. Pouring into you in childhood. Therefore, you grew up with pseudo-confidence. You gotta go find out who you are now. Find out who you are now and not later. It's detrimental to your existence in terms of you either just existing or you actually thriving, flourishing. If you live a life of up and downs, struggle, it's because you don't know who you are. You don't know the power that you yield. You've also been afraid of it. Because the king of wands is unafraid. And that's what they want you to be like. You can, somebody got a lot of power. And now somebody, somebody else doesn't have any though. Oh. Some of you got a lot of power. But you were made to believe you didn't have any? Hidden deep. Buried in suffrage? Oof. This is what's on the other side of fear. For fear, fear of a man brings in the era a trap. But this is what's on the other side. If you come out of fear, you're in fear because you don't know who you really are. Where you really are. Yeah, you've been tricked, duped. The thief wants to show it, so. so I tried to steal something from you. This could have been orchestrated, like, um, spiritually. 
imagine if you knew your power again. My God, just gave you the example of my niece. You know, she's five, so she's six now. All right, know yourself. Pray. Gabriel. Pray to Archangel Gabriel. And let your prayer be, who, who am I? Why am I here? What is the will for my life? That's it. And if you if you have to do it, you know, on repetition, you do it one day, you do it the next day, until you actually get the answers, do it. It says pray without ceasing. So keep at that. Because it's holding you up from the life you're really supposed to live. Now, not later. This is what I have for you. Many blessings to you. My battery is running low. So this was good timing. Um, if it resonates for you, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, am I doing readings? It's like a lot of different um, rules around me doing personal readings. Email me. The email is below. Um, and I'll, I'll send you the rules. And if you want to, you know, still get a reading, you do. If you don't. But the rules aren't like that. Like, 